With this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can add a blog to your Weebly website. It's very easy, actually, because it's just like adding a regular page to your Weebly website. You simply go to Pages, and then where you would normally hit Add Page, you're going to click Add Blog. And now you see it's put into all of my uh, buttons that are in my top navigation and it's called blog. If I wanted to call it something different, I could, but I'm fine with that name, so I'm just going to go straight to edit page. Now just like on a blank page, we have a few things that we need to add to it. We need to do the same thing here with the blog. So it says first post. We want to click on that so we can edit it and give it a title of something more than just first post. So in the assignment that you're doing, you're looking at Web 2.0 tools. So let's call it Web 2.0 tools. And then right down here where it's giving you directions about starting your blog by creating a new post, that's where you'll just type in how you feel about the Web 2.0 tools that you would recommend. And then so on. Whenever you are done with that, you can come down here and you can put in categories because in the archives it will separate out all of your your uh, blogs by categories. So you could type in Web 2.0 and which uh, let's just say that you chose Wallwisher as your favorite Web 2.0 you would type that in too. Not so important now that you do this but if you're using your blog later whenever you're in the classroom as a way to connect with parents or your administrators all of these categories down here would actually be a very good thing to include on your on your blog. Whenever you're done, you will click Save to Live. And that's how it gets saved. Now, whenever I am completely finished, I am still going to have to go up and click Publish. But without hitting Save to Live, everything I just typed will not be there. So don't forget that you don't want to click on something else and then after you've typed your post it be completely gone and then you have to retype it. Whenever I want to add a new post sometime in the future, I'll just click new post and then I've got all of those same things that I had earlier. I'm going to cancel mine. Now over here at the side where it says author, you're going to click there. It says to write something about yourself. You don't have to be fancy. Just tell us what you do. And that's all you need to do. Whenever you're done, you'll come up and click Publish. And then let's go out and see what mine looks like. It opens to my home page. I'm going to click on Blog. And there we go. There's my very incomplete blog that I used as an example. And you see down here where my categories are. So if I had several different blog entries, I could click on Wallwisher and it would open up the Wallwisher blog. Whenever you turn in your URL to your blog, it will be this right up here. You'll just copy and paste.